Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how to install Android Studio on a Mac. If you are using Windows, you can jump right to the next video where that is covered. To start, pull up a browser window and search for Android 11 or Android 11 SDK. So I'm going to go in here and say Android 11 SDK. And SDK stands for Software Development Kit. If I hit enter or return, there you go. Set up Android 11 SDK or you can go to Android 11 Developer Preview. So all of these links are from developer.android.com and it will essentially get you to the same place. So if I click on the first link, it's saying set up Android 11 SDK. I'll scroll down and get the latest Android Studio preview. Now at the time of this recording, the version of Android Studio that works best with Android 11 is Android Studio Preview. For you, this may be different, but basically it says that any version of Android Studio 3.3 or higher should work, but the preview version, again, at the time of this recording, works best. And another thing to note is Android Studio is a complete system. It allows you to both design and build your apps and you can also run them using an inbuilt emulator. So you don't need a phone or a tablet or a smartwatch or anything else. You can do it all from within Android Studio. So I'm gonna click on this, get Android Studio Preview. Again, for you, this might be Android Studio itself. And I'll scroll down. And right here, release candidate, I'm gonna click on this. This is the stable version. Here are the terms and conditions. I'm going to agree to this and then click on download Android Studio. Now this might take a while since it's a big file. So I'll pause the video and return once the download is complete. Okay, it's done. Now I'm gonna go over to my downloads folder. Here we go, in my downloads, there it is, the Android Studio zip file. So I'm gonna double click on it. This is gonna unpack and do whatever else is necessary. All right, and there it is. I'm gonna grab this and put it in my applications folder right there. Okay, so now to complete the installation process, what I'll do is open Android Studio and you can open it as you would any other application. You can use your launch pad, but what I like to do is click on command space to bring up my spotlight search and I'll start typing Android Studio. There you go. And I'll double click on this Android Studio. This is going to complete the installation process. It's gonna ask me if I want to open this application that's downloaded from the internet. I'm gonna say open. Now it's asking me import Android Studio settings. I'm gonna say do not import settings. All right, so this will pull up the setup wizard and it's gonna walk me through some information. This is asking about data sharing. You can send the statistics to Google if you want or you can say don't send. I'm just gonna say don't send. And there we go, Android Studio setup wizard and we're gonna next through and try to stick to the default options as much as possible. So I'm gonna click on next here, choose the type of setup you want, standard is fine, click next. UI theme, there is dark, there is light. I'm gonna stick to the light theme. Click next. And here I'm gonna choose all the default SDK components that are listed here. Click on finish. And this is going to complete the installation process. This might take a few minutes. So I'm gonna pause the video and return once it's complete. All right, welcome back. I wanted to pull this up because depending on your computer security system and preferences that you may have set up, it might ask you for your computer's password in order to allow the installation to continue. So I'm gonna do that here real quick. Click OK. All right, and I'm gonna pause again and return once it's complete. All right, and then it says system extension blocked. Again, this is due to my security preferences in my computer. You may or may not get this. I'm going to open my security preferences and allow this. 
there we go and it says here system software from developer intel corporation apps was blocked from loading i'm going to allow it that should be enough back here all right so now it's going to continue the process and i'll return once it's complete all right, welcome back. So I got this screen that popped up after it successfully created the Android virtual device. So I'm gonna click on finish and that's it, it's all done. So when it's all done for you, you should see this welcome to the Android Studio screen. And this is where we're gonna kick off our exploration of the studio in the next video. See you there.